This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. In this lesson, let's talk about working with your chart of accounts. In QuickBooks, there's several different ways that you can open the chart of accounts. You can click here and start the chart or open the chart of accounts. You can click up here, perhaps you've got a shortcut on your icon bar, and that would open the chart of accounts. We could also go to list chart of accounts. You'll find it under company, chart of accounts. You'll also notice when you see this, the control A, that's a keyboard shortcut to open that as well. So there's lots of different ways that you can get into your chart of accounts. In the chart of accounts, remember we've got a list of all of our assets. We've got bank accounts, current assets, fixed assets, and liabilities. Then we have our income and expenses as well. So in the chart of accounts, you might want to add some new accounts, edit, make things inactive. Let's start by editing something. So if we wanted to change the name of our checking account, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to edit this account because I just want to change the name and make it Great Statewide Bank. I could go in and change that. I can add a description if I wanted to. If I'm doing um, online banking, I would need to enter this information as well. But changing an account name is as simple as editing it and then click Save and Close. Now you'll see we've changed that account name. So it's really easy to edit and change the name of an account. I'm going to scroll down a little bit until we get into the section where we're looking at some of our expense accounts. Because I wanted to point out to you, for example, under automobile, we have fuel insurance and repairs and maintenance. Automobile is called the main account. Fuel insurance and repairs are called sub accounts. What this does for us, it allows us to track the details by the sub accounts, but sometimes when we prepare our profit and loss, we just want to see the total main accounts. So we might just want to see total automobile instead of the details here. So you can have sub accounts that total up into the main account. Let me show you what that looks like really quickly. Under the company and financial on our profit and loss, you'll notice we have two columns. So as I scroll down, the first column is my sub accounts and then it'll give me the total. So here we had some fuel expenses and then it gives me the total. If I were to click collapse or expand, collapse gets rid of the sub accounts and just shows my total main accounts. So as you're setting up the chart of accounts, keep that in mind. As you add new accounts, you can make them a sub account so that you can see the level of detail that you want. Let's say I wanted to add a new account and make it a sub account of dues and subscriptions. So I can right click anywhere in the chart of accounts and select new. When you're setting up a new account, you have to tell QuickBooks what type of account is it. Is it an income account? Is it an expense account? Or is it fixed asset, bank, loan, credit card, equity, or an other account type? You can choose other when you need some of these other things that aren't listed. So you don't need to know is it a debit account or a credit account, but you just need to tell QuickBooks the type of account that you're setting up. If I'm setting up trade publications to track as a, as a sub of dues and subscriptions, I would make that an expense account. So I'll select expense and click continue. And I'm going to call it trade publications, trade publications. And I wanted to make it a sub account of dues and subscriptions. I could put a description in here. I could put some notes in here if I wanted to. Now on the tax line mapping, if you intend to use TurboTax and you want to import the information from QuickBooks into TurboTax, you could do the tax line mapping right here telling it which line of your tax return does this go on. If you do not know taxes, if you don't know what you're, you're not really sure what you're doing, or if you're going to have your accountant or tax professional do your tax return, just leave this unassigned and don't worry about it at all. You don't have to do that. So you can just leave it unassigned and leave it blank. I'll click Save and Close, and now you'll notice that I have a new account set up for trade publications 
underneath dues and subscriptions. You can add new accounts to help you track where your money is going. You don't want too many though. So go ahead and set some accounts up that will help you see what you're spending your money on, but don't add too many. Occasionally you'll find that you may have entered things that's the same thing and you need to actually merge them together. For example, I have phone and I have telephone. So these really should be merged into one. And this is true for any of your, your lists, your chart of accounts, your customer list, your vendor list. If you have duplicates, you can merge them. So what you need to do is you need to edit to change the name to match the other one. So for example, if I decide I wanna keep phone and I wanna get rid of telephone, I want telephone to be merged in with phone. So I will edit telephone by right clicking on it, right click, select edit, and we're going to change the name to match the account we want to merge it with. So I'm gonna change it to phone, click save and close. You should see the message that says, this name is already being used. Would you like to merge them? When I say yes, there is no undo. So if you're not sure, make a backup before you do these things. I'm gonna go ahead and click on yes. And it now will, t it takes all the activity from the telephone account and merges it into phone as if they were always one. Again, you can do that on any of your list items. So if you find duplicate customers or duplicate vendors, you can merge those together as well. So working with your chart of accounts, remember you can go through, add new, you can edit, delete things, make things inactive, and get the chart of accounts set up the way that you need it to help you to manage your business.